Hello everyone! Today I have in my hands both versions of the greenies, the Gibson greenie and I have the Epiphone greenie right here. So we are going to be comparing, talking about these guitars. The greenie ever since its release, it's the most talked about guitar. The current owner is also the most talked about, but we are focusing plainly on the guitars itself. So we're going to be comparing the specs, how they sound and how they feel most importantly. So we are taking each guitar as it is. So the Gibson Greenie, this is the standard version, not the Murphy Lab version. And recently they released the Epiphone version of it, which has been uh, the talk of the town, seeing the price tag. So let's quickly talk what is the same with both guitars. So the headstock, as you can see, they are both the open book style headstock. You got your Grover tuners at the back. You got your Graftec locking nuts. And of course you have the mahogany body. The same pickups are on the Epiphone as the USA standard so they are both the greenie buckers now in terms of what is different between the Gibson and the Epiphone it starts with the maple top the Gibson is a triple A maple top now the Epiphone has a top but the flame is just a veneer so it's a triple A veneer instead following that you have nitro which is typical on most uh, Gibson guitars this is a satin nitro but on the Epiphone, it is an aged gloss. So this also spreads across the back of the necks here. So you're going to have a satin feel on the Gibson, but a aged gloss feeling on the Epiphone. They're both, on the website, is stated as a 50s neck profile on the Greenie, but you have a Greenie profile on the Epiphone. In terms of feel, they are very, very similar. Maybe the Epiphone is a tad fatter, it fills in the palm a little bit more, just a bit. It's not a huge difference. Next, one of the biggest difference here is the fretboard wood. This is rosewood on the Gibson, but it's laurel on uh, the Epiphone. So the inlays, this one is acrylic, mother of pearl. Here's where it gets interesting. So the Gibson is of course a set neck. Now with this Epiphone, this new range being called the Inspired by Custom Shop, it is actually a long tenon set neck which is typically only found in the Custom Shop range. So that is very interesting. Will we hear a tone difference? We will find out later on. And the final two differences is this is a ABR1 bridge. This is Epiphone's version of an ABR1. And finally electronics wise at the back, Inside, so the Gibson is using orange drop capacitors and the Epiphone is using a Mallory brand capacitor. Now, I'm going to play each guitar one by one, more importantly to kind of like grasp the feel whether the price tag on these new uh, Epiphones are, you know, worth, worth it. So I'm using the guitars going direct into a huge kind of Tube Meister 20 going into an orange 2 better vertical cabinet being mic'd up by a S Electronics X1S and V7X. We're going to try these with a clean tone first and a distorted tone after that and there is a touch of reverb in the effects loop because reverb makes me happy. <coughs> Another thing to note is I have a total of maybe less than 10 minutes of playtime between both these guitars. When the Greenie came in, I just managed to hold it for a while and they all sold out. The Epiphones uh, recently came in, I only shot a very short video of it so today is going to be the day where I really put them through their paces. So we're going to begin with the Epiphone Greenie. This is the neck pickup. Now the middle pickup, which is going to have that out of phase tone. Now the bridge pickup. Now I'm going to go back to the middle and just roll off one of the volume knobs to kind of get a full sounding middle position. So.
Now I'm going to swap over to the Gibson Greeny and hear how that sounds with the clean tone. So again, I'm going to begin with the uh, neck pickup and hear how that sounds. Instantly feeling that uh, slightly more brighter snap to the tone. Here is the middle pickup position with the outer phase tone. Bridge pickup. Now let's go to the middle pickup position and just roll back one of the volume knobs to get the full tone. Great sounding guitar. I would say feel-wise, in terms of the neck thickness, I'm not feeling much, much of a difference. If anything, it's a very, 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 very minor difference in terms of the nut width. Fingerboard radius, they're all exactly the same, but I'm hearing a little more of a sort of clarity with the Gibson. And uh, now we're gonna go to a high gain tone. So I'm gonna play some simple riffs right here. So this is the bridge pickup of the Epiphone. <laughs>
Epiphone Greedy feels very good. I like the way the strings bounce on that. It has a nice feel to it. Now, oh, the Gibson version of that. Bridge pickup. <laughs> And that is the Gibson version. Well, I think they both feel very good. <laughs> I'm sure you're gonna ask if this being double the price is worth it, you know, whether the feel is worth double the price tag. Or you're gonna ask that um, why buy this when this is, you know, for some people it's much more better to save money and get this. But I would say this, while both feel good, I still think that the Gibson has an upper hand in terms of the feel. In terms of the snap of the note and that certain brightness and presence, it's something I felt in the room. This one has that uh, typical epiphone kind of uh, very roundish low end, if that translates well to anyone. And as for the price tag, while some people may find that this is steep, I think certain things like the long tenon neck joint could be contributing factors to you know the build time in terms of complication or whatever that is also i feel that while people think that this is expensive this is still much more expensive and for a lot of people this may be out of reach and if you are a big fan of the greeny guitar and also to take note that most people forget that there are four different tones in these guitars so it may be a three-way toggle switch right here you think you're getting just three sounds but the out of face position is only in effect when both of the volume knobs are turned up all the way so the moment you roll back one, you're going to get your regular in-between position. So essentially, you're kind of getting four tones in each of these last falls. So what do you think? Did you hear any difference in the YouTube video and compression? Do you think it's worth the price tag? This new inspired by Gibson Custom Chop series uh, for Epiphone. Well, let us know what you think about the tones. Leave a comment down below. Give us a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more content. And I will see you very soon.